Hi everyone, Peter here with Dyslexia Connect Online Tutoring. Welcome to another episode of our online dyslexia blog. Today I would like to talk about dyslexia and ADHD. You will often hear these two topics discussed together for a couple of different reasons. First of all, a lot of students who have dyslexia also have ADHD. So if you're listening to a discussion about learning difficulties, you might hear these two things discussed together because so many kids have, have both of these together. Another reason is that some of the symptoms of ADHD and dyslexia are easily to, easy to mix up together. And that can kind of make it confusing to assess a child's needs if you think you're seeing both symptoms of ADHD and dyslexia. So today I thought I would talk a little bit about those and try to give you some tips on how to separate out the issues so you can help to best address a child's needs. Um, one of the major symptoms of ADHD, of course, is difficulty concentrating. And so when we're talking about reading or spelling or general homework, that can often mean that a child has a hard time focusing on what they're doing. They may get distracted constantly if there are any noises around or if they happen to see something out the window that's, that's going on or, or they just hear random noises happening around the neighborhood. All these different things can easily distract a child with ADHD. Also, since they tend to get distracted easily when they're working on sit-down work, like homework, schoolwork, um, they, might also, they might also develop coping mechanisms trying to avoid having to do these things where they sit down for extended periods of time and have to focus on something. So we often see common coping mechanisms that have to do with uh, maybe a child trying to distract the adult who is, who is supervising them or coming up with different ways to avoid having to do the schoolwork and have to sit down for an extended period of time and focus on one thing. Um, now, a child with dyslexia may have these same issues but for different reasons and that's why it's sometimes easily t easy to mix up whether a child is experiencing symptoms of ADHD or dyslexia when it comes to these specific symptoms. For a child with dyslexia, the focus or the, the difficulty focusing on reading or spelling may come simply from the fact that these things are so difficult and so exhausting for them. Um, if you sit a child with dyslexia down to do a bunch of reading or spelling and they haven't yet gotten the, the dyslexia treatment or dyslexia tutoring they need to be able to make progress, they may feel incredibly overwhelmed and frustrated. And as a result, you may see the same symptoms that you would see with a child with, with ADHD. The dyslexic child may seem to have trouble focusing, they may shift around a lot, um, they, may, they may get distracted constantly and just have trouble focusing in on the work in front of them. Um, they, may, they may also engage in avoidance techniques like I was talking about. They may try to distract the adult who's supervising them or just try to find any, any way to avoid doing the work in front of them. And it's often because this work is so hard for them and they become so scared of failing that they don't want to expose themselves to anything else that they might fail at. And so for that reason, they'll just try to avoid doing the work. They'll try to avoid reading, avoid spelling, and, and anything of that sort. And for that reason, uh, the reason they're trying to avoid things they look distracted might not be because they're having trouble focusing, it's just the task at hand seems so overwhelming and so incredibly difficult to them because they have not gotten the proper training to be able to, to spell and to read properly. Sometimes you might even see a child with dyslexia show physical aversion to reading or spelling. So for example, you might sit them down, ask them to read a book, and they may physically turn away from the book or just try to look in every single direction except at the book because it's such, a, such an overwhelming thing for them that they don't even want to look at the page. And this can be same, the same with homework and spelling assignments and writing assignments. And so you may see actual physical reactions even with a child who is dyslexic when they have to sit down and, and work on something like that. So because of the similarity in this behavior, it's sometimes hard for people to determine what exactly they're looking at, whether they're looking at dyslexia or ADHD in this, this specific case. So how do we determine the difference? Well, one of the first things that you want to do is learn the symptoms of each, each thing in detail. So the symptoms of dyslexia and the symptoms of ADHD. 
If you're interested in learning about the common symptoms of dyslexia, you can check out our videos on the common symptoms of dyslexia. And those will give you a really good idea about the major symptoms and signs that tend to point to dyslexia. And if you familiarize yourself with these, you'll be able to recognize them when you see them and know exactly what you're, what you're dealing with. And also, if you learn the symptoms for ADHD, you'll hopefully be able to sort out the differences between these two and tell which one you're looking at. Another great way is just to have the child read out loud to you, read or spell out loud. If it's simply a matter of concentration issues, then once you get the child to actually read out loud, once they're reading, they may be reading decently, not be having that much trouble. The main issue in that case with a child who has ADHD may simply be getting them to sit down and focus on the page and read or spell those words that they're supposed to spell. Now, if it's a child who has dyslexia, then when they start reading out loud or trying to spell, you're going to notice all these symptoms that you've learned about that point to dyslexia. So they may be skipping words, inserting words that aren't there, conjugating verbs in an improper way, um, having a lot of difficulty sounding out basic words, different things like this that are, like these that are major symptoms of dyslexia. And so then you'll be able to see, oh, this is clearly an issue with dyslexia, not just simply focus. And you'll be able to tell that the reason the child is having a hard time concentrating and sitting down to work on these things is just because these tasks are so incredibly difficult and overwhelming for them. Um, in a case where a child has both dyslexia and ADHD, you may see these symptoms mixed up together, of course. And, of course, a, a good way to, to tell which one you're dealing with, again, is to learn the symptoms in detail. Um, and also, if you think you're seeing both dyslexia and ADHD, you're going to be able to tell them apart better once the child gets the help they need with their reading and spelling. So if they start working with a dyslexia tutor, and they're, they're making progress with, with their reading and their spelling, you're going to be able to tell these symptoms apart more easily because their reading and spelling will begin to improve, and then the, the issues of ADHD may be a little bit more clear and separate from that. So if they're sitting down and they're, they're at a point where they're starting to feel good about their reading, but they're still having trouble focusing on what they're, what they're reading and actually starting their assignments, then you may be able to say like, well, this is the ADHD and not the dyslexia because the child has progressed to the point where they're comfortable, more comfortable with reading and spelling and they feel good about it and they're making progress. So the distraction or, or failure to concentrate isn't the result of them simply feeling overwhelmed anymore at that point. Also, if you're working with an experienced dyslexia tutor, they often are able to separate out these symptoms very well and tell you exactly what you're looking at. Um, many dyslexia tutors are really used to, to working with students who have both of these, dyslexia and ADHD. And so if you ask them to discuss that with you after they've worked with your child for a bit, they'll probably be able to tell you, well, here's what's going on. Here are the symptoms of dyslexia that you're seeing right now. Here are the symptoms that are probably related to ADHD. So I hope those tips are helpful. If you're, uh, if you're interested in learning more about dyslexia or our online dyslexia tutoring program, you can visit us at www.dyslexiaconnect.com. You can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter. And if you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We update our channel and you'll be able to get new videos as we, as we publish those. So thanks a lot for watching today and I will see you next time. Have a good one.